Hi everyone, just want to show you my waste oil furnace here. Um, it's an old space heater. I'm not sure of how old it is. It's probably from the 50s or 60s. Um, now, this furnace used to run on stove oil or furnace oil. Um, it had a carburetor. And you just hook this up to a fuel tank and the carburetor would meter out the fuel you needed. You could adjust it at the back, there was a knob, and that's how um, this would operate. But I've converted this to waste oil so I can burn my old engine oil that I have from changing all the vehicles. And it saves you a lot of money for, on heating. Now how this thing works is I've just put a tank on the top of the stove. Now what I've done is I've just put a hole in the side of the pail and I've soldered on a piece of copper pipe and I've then installed a tap. This is just off of a sink and there's your valve there. And I've then connected the copper pipe where the carburetor used to be. The carburetor's been removed and I've just directly hooked my copper pipe into the fittings. That other fitting there is for uh, cleaning out the um, pipe that goes into the burner and then I've just installed a funnel on the end of it so how I can control my rate of fuel is just from this tap and I just this is a good rate right here this is a good flow and this thing's called a dripulator the technical word for it and that's how I control the amount of fuel that goes into the burner it's really really simple now the stove is just running uh, normally, the way it would be hooked up as a furnace, but I've actually removed the damper so um, because I had a uh, suction fan on it, it was sort of like a blower, and it helped with it. Um, but I don't have another fan right now, so I'm just running it without it. It seems to work fine, it just takes a little longer to heat up. And just take a look at the burner and see how efficiently it's running. Take a look in here. You want a nice blue flame is optimal. Well, it's not burning as hot as it could be. The flame should be up in the top and after a while um, you'll start seeing the flame will actually be hovering up in the top of the burner and it'll be all a blue flame where the where It'll actually be burning on the top there, where the metal um, is. This is where your flame would be coming off of. But I'll, I'll lift off the top and just show you. What I've done is I've just put a screen in here, and this collects all the junky stuff and the, the debris that's left over in your oil container. Once you change your oil, um, leaves and grass and whatever drips into your falls into your pan and you don't want this going into your tank so I've just put a piece of screening on the top and we'll just look underneath here you could you could make this a lot better than what I have here but this this thing works well and you can just see in there I have my fuel The lid just sits on top there. Now how you start the furnace is you have to pour in a little diesel fuel. So what I do is I pour in some diesel fuel into this funnel, about a funnel full, and then I can start this dripping. And then all you have to do is roll up some newspaper and throw it into the bottom of the burner and light it and away you go. And it'll start heating up um, gradually and then you'll it'll throw off lots of heat you can see the oil in the bottom maybe if I, if I focus in there and there's a lot of tricks to this um, because your engine oil can have coolant in it water in it um, so what you have to do is if you hear it bubbling and making, you can hear it right now, some water has gotten in or coolant. And it actually starts boiling in the bottom of the stove. You can 
hear it right now. And so the water is then, or the antifreeze is not burning, it's just evaporating off. So what can happen is you may have to drain off a bit of the oil. If, if it's just straight coolant coming out of, out of here, it will put out the fire. So you'll have to then put a container underneath and crank this tap and then the coolant will run out and then the oil will come until you see old engine oil flowing again then you're okay and also after about a week or so you may want to clean this thing out um, before starting it you take a scraper and you put this inside or a, this is just a little ash shovel and you just put this inside and you you pull the coals forward the carbon because the carbon can build up and so you can pull it forward actually even while it's going and this will help the now you now you can hear it the water and the oil now if you plan on building one of these you don't have to use a space heater you can convert a wood stove um, by drilling a hole in the side of it and running a steel line in also you could take an old 45 gallon drum and do the same but I had these space heaters so um, this was the easiest way for me to convert them and it's a great way of burning up old engine oil and heating your garage well good luck building your own heater thank you for watching